Hi and welcome to my maths class. We are today going to do the inverse of exponential graphs. Now you have done the inverse of a parabola, you have done the inverse of a straight line graph. If you look at the exponential graph, first we are going to do the vertical test. Now if we do the vertical test, it is a function. If it is a function, we then do the horizontal test. If it is one to one, then the inverse is a function. Let us first start by doing the vertical test. From the vertical test, you can clearly see that an exponential graph is a function. Now let us do the horizontal test. Is it a one-to-one? -one? It is clearly one-to-one. -one. So since it is a one-to-one -one function, we can now say that the inverse is also a function. What is nice about that is that if it is a function, then there is no restrictions like your parabola. Let us do the following example. It says y is equal to a to the power of x. Now usually when they're giving you the exponential graphs, they don't start by giving you the formula. They will tell you y is equal to a to the power of x. Solve for a. Now if you already have a coordinate, all you have to do is you need to substitute in x and y the relevant information. You are not going to choose the 0 and 1. You are going to choose any other remaining coordinate given. So I would have y is equal to a to the power of x. I have that y is equal to 4 and a to the power of x, x is equal to 2. Now using your exponential rules from grade 10 and grade 11, we know that 4 is equal to 2 to the power 2, which is equal to a to the power 2. Since both my powers are the same, I can cancel it, which will give me a is equal to 2. So the equation of this graph is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now the next thing that you would be asked is, get the inverse of the function. Now we already know to get the inverse we make x y and we make y x. So I'm going to have x is equal to 2 to the power of y. But you cannot write it in this form. All inverse graphs must have y as the subject of the formula. In order to have y the subject of the formula you have to do logs. Now what it becomes is log, our base is 2, so I still have it as 2, the x and y swap, and now I have log base 2 x is equal to y. So the inverse is f minus 1. Remember from our previous videos we had discussed that if it's to the power of negative 1, we are indicating that it is an inverse. Now how would we draw this inverse? We know that x becomes y and y becomes x. So if we have 0 and 1 at this point, we know we have 1 and 0 at the other point. Also, we have the coordinate 2 and 4, which means we are now going to have the coordinate 4 and 2. Remember, x becomes y, y becomes x. And if you continue the graph, it will be like that. Keeping in mind that we are always going over the x is equal to y line. So the inverse reflex over the x is equal to y line. Now what they have started doing is they now no longer give you just the exponents as the original question. Look at what they have done now. Now they have said f of x is equal to log base half x. Get the inverse. Now you know the inverse of an exponent is a log. Likewise, the inverse of a log is an exponent. So how do we do this? We have y is equal to log base half x. We are going to swap our x and y. So I have x is equal to log base half y, 
but you need y to be the subject of the formula. The base remains the base always. x and y swap, so we have y is equal to half to the power of x. The inverse is half to the power of x. Now how do we draw the inverse? We know that we have a coordinate quarter and two, which means now you're going to have a coordinate two and a quarter. So x will be two and y would be a quarter. And then we have x is one and y is zero. We would have that y is one and x is zero. Now when you look at this graph, why does it look like it is not correct? Look, if you randomly draw this line, can you see it looks totally incorrect? But the reason for this is that if you look at the scale of this graph, can you see 1, 2, how big the x values are and then how small the y values are. So if you actually wanted the correct x is equal to y line, It would have actually been running like this, which then makes the graph correct. So sometimes the scale looks incorrect. Let's draw the same graph but on a similar scale. Now look, we still have the same graph. This one here was a quarter and two. Can you see a quarter and two? And then when we draw the inverse, look how the inverse looks. It looks exactly the same. Why? Because the scale now used is the same. So sometimes by changing the scale we think our work is incorrect but it is not incorrect. It is simply looking that way because of the scale that we use. So when you are drawing your graphs or when they ask you to draw the graphs, look at the scale. Most of the time the department will give you the Cartesian plane which becomes much easier because they usually use a scale that is the same. And if you are drawing it on your own, then also try and use a scale that is the same, not different. Okay, now, just to look at the different drawings. If you look at this graph, this graph here, the red one, is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. When we do the inverse, then we have y is equal to log base 2 x exactly the same over the x equals to y line. If you look at this one, y is equal to half to the power of x or you could say y is equal to 2 to the power of minus x. And then the purple one representing the log graph is y is equal to log, your base is still 2 and minus x or you could write it as y is equal to log, your base is half and x. Now you would notice with the exponential graphs, it doesn't matter how many graphs they give you, the standard two are always the same. If you look at this graph and then you look at these graphs, it is always the same. Even if I change it, y is equal to 3 to the power x, it will become log 3 base 3 to the power of x. It still looks exactly the same. So the exponential graphs, if you know these two very well, you will be fine. If you take this graph, look at this graph, okay, this one here was y is equal to half to the power of x. And if you look at this one, it's also y is equal to half to the power of x. So the different scales make it look different, but they are exactly the same graphs. Thank you for watching.